Okay, so what I'm going to show you guys today is how to install Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager or SCCM 2007. And what this software allows you to do is basically deploy, manage, and update your entire Windows Enterprise. And it is a very powerful software so long as you know what it can do for you. So the prerequisites to the software are one IIS, Internet Information Services, and also SQL Server full edition. So I'm currently installing SQL Server 2005 and it's gonna list the prerequisites. So <coughs> I've pretty much everything is installed and also the IS feature requirement is also installed. So then we go next and then we install all the components for SQL Server. The reporting services will be grayed out if you have not selected to install IIS. So then we go next. Make sure we've selected all different components to install our SQL Server 2005. Accepting the default instances, you're going to use the built-in system account which is best practice for, insta for installing SQL. And you're going to leave the defaults leave it on Windows authentication mode and we're going to allow the defaults again here so let's review all components including the workstation tools and we go ahead and install so if you go to the Microsoft website you're going to notice that there's a lot of information that is available on SQL Server to sorry SMS 2007 and there's a lot of tutorials, there's trials, there's live trial runs as well. So I'm going to pause this video until we've installed SQL Server 2005 and when that is completed we can go ahead and install Microsoft SMS 2007. Okay, so we've just installed SQL Server 2005 and we booted the computer and now we run the prerequisite checker for SCCM. So we're going to install it on our primary site and we're going to use our computer name as the SQL Server. Alright, so I'm going to call it PC we're also going to use it as a management point computer and we're also going to be installing the configuration manager console which may be later on so we're going to select OK the SMS provider is going to be the current PC as well. So here are some prerequisites here that have not passed and we're going to go through them one by one. So the first thing is that we need to have schema extensions. So Configuration Manager AD Schema extensions are not required for site server installation but are recommended to fully support. So that's the first check that we need to make. So the second one is the WMI service may stop responding on Configuration Manager .NET 2 there's an update for that then we have a update points require WSUS version 3 installed it must be installed we also need to have supported hotfixes some other softwares So there's a number of software updates 
the SQL Server. We have some errors here for the SQL Server version. Server Spark 2 is also needed. We also need to install Bits, which is a, a control panel add remove programs add on. And we also need to have WebDAV enabled. So in a separate video, we're going to go through all these different prerequisites and show you how to configure them.